world and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you are in the right place. I'm so excited about this video because in this episode we are speaking about spiritual and personal development. And the topic of this video is why you feel lonely. Let's get straight into the video. Loneliness, it comes in, knocks on all of our doors, right? Many times I've been there in that place in my life where I felt lonely. And at these moments in life, for some reason, at this time, in this particular space, in this dimension right now, in this space in society, loneliness is at an all-time high. Depression, loneliness, all of that. Why do you think that is? Well, let's dive into some reasons that things that make you lonely. Well, it makes you lonely, lonely, feel lonely when you feel like you don't have people in your life. When you don't feel like you have the right people, nurturing people in your life, you don't have intimate commun communications, you don't have intimate conversations, you don't have just like intimate connections with people. You don't feel like there's anyone there for you to depend on. You don't feel like there's anybody there to hear you out so you can vibe with, you can be vulnerable with, that you can just connect with. You know how it is when you want to see one of your friends and you know you see them, as soon as you see your friend, you're like, <sighs> and they know exactly what that helped me like come on baby girl come sit on the couch let me just welcome my baby to my friend you know let's talk about it you know sometimes we feel lonely when we don't have that okay and there's many reasons why people actually don't have that I'm gonna get directly into you know those points towards the end of the video because this is very important right now and everybody needs to hear this this video is for everyone so that's one reason why we feel lonely we feel lonely also because we don't know and value ourselves enough really it's a lot that you have within yourself you do a lot you're so you're very you're so gifted you're very gifted very talented very resourceful you know, you have many, many, many different hobbies, many things to do, but you just don't engage in them. You find excuses why you don't do them. Some people find excuses not to do certain things that they know they should, that will make them happy, that will give them a sense of fulfillment, but they don't do them for many reasons. Fear, you know, loss of something, financial reasons, lack of resourcefulness in many ways, and that result into you feeling lonely. You might feel lonely because you live in a particular place where there are people that are not in your same type of circle so it's not your tribe right because your vibe attracts your tribe and where you are the environment maybe your work environment maybe the friends around you maybe your community the neighborhood your school is not your tribe you have not clicked with the people who see eye to eye this eye right this eye how you see it but above all you ready? Because everybody got this problem. Most of the people, 99.9% .9 of society got this number one problem. Above all, what make you feel lonely is this thing right here. Your device is making you lonely. Your device is making you lonely. What you do on here, playing the games on here, social media, always being in it make you feel lonely because guess what? Even when you have those nurturing friendships, those nurturing friends, the right community, the vibe, the tribe that attracts the vibe, all of that good stuff, right? Even when you know yourself, even when you're in, into your hobbies, even when you're into your gifts, even when you're living out your talents, if you can not find the discipline not to be more in tune with this and have more of a relationship with this thing, right? But you have, a, you have more of a relationship with this thing and not more of a relationship with the things that matter outside of you in life, right? Friends, your hobbies, your gifts, things like that. You will always feel lonely because this take away all your energy and your power. And when you leave your friends, I see it all the time, you go around to dinner and it's like this, blah, 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 blah. you're talking to people, they're laughing, and then, but they still like this and they're on social media and then you're talking to them and they're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then it's like this and you're talking and they're the phone is like this and they're like girl why did he say that that's crazy look at this right but the whole time this is being present it's in the middle just imagine if every time you're talking to somebody and there was a stop sign right let's say there was no phones it was just a like a stop sign remember the little signs we used to make in school with a piece of paper and when it would be something you know you have to put the sign up like blue so just imagine this is a stop sign and every time a person is talking they're doing something they do this to you right this is a stop sign how would that make you feel once you leave from that person right 
you will feel depleted like you didn't get what you came for you didn't get that nurturing conversation because it's like they always interrupted you this is what that does but we don't but we don't see it like that because it's a phone it's a tool it's glittering oh the light is bright oh it's pe people pictures on Instagram people look like they're having fun you're watching funny videos and cats and shit doing backflips off of roofs right but you don't see that when you're in the middle of the, your dance class or your hobby and you're sewing and you're playing the guitar then you go and you get on your phone you don't realize this is a stop sign that's breaking you from your presence so when you leave away from blocking out an hour two hours for being in the class or doing something that you love you don't feel nurtured and fulfilled you feel lonely still searching for that feeling because you were so distracted by this device It's the device, y'all. Learn to discipline yourself. Trust me, I'm a human being. I get slipped right up into it. I have these things on my, um, these alerts on my phone, for example. I have reminders on there that say no scrolling, no this. It says focus, pull, focus, F these distractions, trust yourself, pull, you can do this. Pull is my nickname. You know, I have things to check emails, text messages, and social media updates and stuff like that at a specific time. I'm just not going in and scrolling whenever, right? I'm just not going, just picking up my phone whenever to look, randomly clicking on the apps, randomly clicking on stuff when I don't need to. And of course, I'm a human being. Every now and then I do it, but I have these habits built in place that it's less and less and my conscious speak to me at the moment when I'm slipping and I can see it, I feel it, and I immediately snap out of it, right? So it allows me to be present. And I used to feel really, really lonely until I started to do this. And when I put that in place for myself and I started to have boundaries with my cell phone, with my device, with social media, with how often I check my, my messages, how often I check my, my, my emails. Like, if you're a person in my life and you're watching this video, I, you would know and you can vouch for me. I don't text back all the time because I don't check my messages every time I get them not all the time now I'm flexible in life okay if I'm chilling out and I'm sitting down in the bed and I'm just looking at the Sun and I'm looking at the trees and I'm drinking my tea I might just be texting my home girl for 20 minutes you know what I mean but not there's not all the time that a message come up that I feel like I need to read and reply no in two hours I'll answer them all at once because if it was that important people would pick up the phone and call and if I don't answer when they call they'll leave a voicemail and if it's important I can call back and return the favor for whatever that they asked on the voicemail right so it's the device you have to find um, a way to not allow it to control you and you control it to be have discipline with it have discipline with it because it would ruin your life and make you feel like something is wrong and that you don't have enough and that's the ego the ego wants more and it's hungry for something and is distracted and the ego will make you go out and start doing things that you're not supposed to do when you feel lonely now you're drinking now you're smoking now you're having sex with the person you need to have sex with now you got some sexual demons trapped up inside of you now your body is all bad now you need to detox now you got parasites inside of you all because you needed to put down your phone and device man it's a device it's the device it's the device it's the device find some discipline with it like for example here's my discipline when I'm doing certain things my phone is on airplane mode right there airplane see airplane mode my phone is on airplane mode and do not disturb do not disturb, right? When I'm doing things, it's on do not disturb. I can take it off of airplane mode for now, but usually it's on do not disturb and everything. Also, when I'm doing work, I block out my time and I block out a certain amount of time and I don't look at my phone at all. I put it in my bag. And I put it in my bag next to my leg that if it vibrates for an alarm to tell me to stop working, that's all. But if I feel it vibrating and I know I'm supposed to stop working at four and I feel it vibrating at two, I know that's a call or something coming through that I don't need right now because I need to get through what I need to get through, right? Because as soon as you go on it, you say, I'm going on one thing. Let me just check this one email. You find yourself in there for a whole 35 minutes. Then you got to restructure your brain and try to refocus back on something that you needed to focus on and it's taking you another 20 minutes to get into that to restructure your brain and reshift your brain and your focus back into whatever you were previously doing so do yourself a favor and try to have balance and find discipline with this cell phone like for example I and tablets computers iPads all of it Apple watches all of it is distracting us guys they're doing this on purpose to us that's just a billion dollar industry they don't want us to grow and evolve this is how they make money off of us by us being out of control not in control of our lives and not disciplined it's simple it's simple 
like at night I do not have my my air my phone on it's on airplane mode I use it as an alarm sometimes but it's on airplane mode I don't do that in the morning when I do my morning rituals I block out an hour my 20 minutes of meditation I read do my journaling and I do my Spanish and I stretch for like hour hour and a half I don't even touch my phone I don't touch my phone then I do my tea post or whatever. I pour my tea, do my tea post on Instagram, like a motivational quote or whatever is on my mind, however I'm feeling, if it's a message coming from the universe, and that's it. That's it. Then it's there. So I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody you care about. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an update. And like we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV, you got it in you. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't have it because you got it. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, just email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. Or you can email me just to simply say hello or just for updates or whatever, or just advice. If you're on social media, make sure you reach out to me and connect with me on all my social media platforms. As we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV, we encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life. So you, my friend, you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I'm sending my love, my light, my energy, and gratitude your way. Until next time, we see you in the next episode. Peace and love.